this one. Rod's Music Store is selling CDs at 20% off the regular price, which is $15. How much do you save if you buy your CD at Rod's? Okay, so the question tells us that you're getting, what, what's the discount that you're getting? 20%. Right, we're getting a discount of 20%. So you're saving 20% of what? $15. Of $15, good. So we need to figure out how much we're actually saving. So what is 20% of $15? That's what we need to find. So we're gonna solve this in three ways. The first method is turning 20% into a fraction. So what would that be as a fraction? 20 out 20 of? over 100. Good, because percent's always out of 100. Good, so that's going to be equal to an amount, which we don't know, out of 15. Good, and we'll put x here, because that's the unknown. Okay, so the first way you're solving this is to figure out, this is referred to as the scale factor. So you want to know, how do we get from 100 to 15? And we know that 100 is the larger number. Going from 100 to 15, the number is getting smaller. So what operation is it going to be? Division. Good. It's going to be 100 divided by something will give us 15. So to figure out the missing value, you took 100 and divided it by 15, and we got 6 decimal 6 repeating, right? So let's just round this to 6 decimal 7, okay? And we're going to see maybe this method is not the best method to, to use to solve this. We're going to do three methods. Now let's just check. If we went the other way, 15 times 6.7 should give us 100, right? Let's check to see if that works. If it's close to 100, because we rounded our answer. We get 100 decimal five, so it's close enough to 100 because we had rounded this. Okay, so now what do we have to do? We know that the scale factor is divided by 6.7. So what do we have to do to the numerator? We have to divide it by 6.7. Good, we also have to divide this by 6.7. So 20 divided by 6.7, we get 20 divided by 6.7 equals approximately 2.99. So let's round it off to 3. So x equals 3. But what does that represent in this question? What is 3? What does that mean? It represents the amount we save if we get the 20% discount. So you save... How much? $3. $3. So 20% of $15 is $3. You have a saving of $3. Okay, let's look at solving this a different way because this might not be as accurate because of the decimals and the way we rounded. Let's just see though. Okay, so the second way is we can set it up as, this is called a proportion. So we're looking at a proportional relationship. So 20 out of 100 is equal to something out of 15. This is what we did before, but this time we're going to do something called cross product. And we're going to find the cross product. So we're going to cross multiply. Okay, so what am I going to multiply? 100 and x. Good. Okay, think of a cross. We can draw a cross here. So we're going to multiply 100 by x. And how do I write 100 times x? 100 and x. Good, we just write 100 x. Okay, we know that when we have a number and a variable next to each other, it means multiply. And then we're going to multiply 20 times 15. And what do we get? Good, we get 300. And how do I solve for x? Um, you divide um, 100, uh, 100x by 100. Good, we're going to divide by 100 because we're doing the opposite operation. The opposite of multiplying by 100 is to divide by 100. This reduces to 1. So we're left with 1x or just x. And what do we have to do to the right side? You have to divide it by 100. Divide by 100. And we can do that in our head. 300 divided by 100 is 3. three. Okay, so the other method was good. It ended up being the same answer. We save $3. Let's do it the third way. Okay, so third method, again, 20% of $15. We want to turn our 20% into a decimal. So what's 20% as a decimal? 0 0.2 or 0 0.20. Yep, 0 0.20 or just 0 0.2. And we know that because 20% 
it means 20 out of 100, right? And 20 divided by 100 is 0 decimal 2, 0. In math, when we see of, it means multiply. So 0 decimal 2 multiplied by 15. We can do this on a calculator. 0.2 times 15. And we get 3. three. So we got the same answer. You save $3. Okay, so the question said that you're getting 20% off the regular price, which was $15. We've just calculated the discount. So you save $3. What if I were to ask you what the new sale price would be with this saving? How would you find the sale price? Mm -hmm. Good. The discount from the regular price. Good. We would subtract the discount from the regular price. The regular price was $15. So we take that 15 and we would subtract the discount. Common sense, you're saving money, you're subtracting it. What is the sale price? 15 take away 3 is $12. So you would pay $12 for the CD. Good. So to find the sale price, we take the original price and you subtract the discount. And that gives us the sale price. We can actually do, we can actually find the sale price in one step. Here you have to do two steps. You have to find the discount and then we had to subtract that to get the sale price. I'm gonna show you a shortcut to find the sale price, okay? So, okay, so looking at the same question, if I said to you, what's the sale price? If I just wanna know the sale price, well, we know that you're saving 20% of $15. Let's pretend we hadn't done this question. You don't know the discount right now, right? If I say, what's the sale price? We can actually do this in one step. If you're saving 20% of $15, how, what percentage of the price are you, play, are you paying? So think about that for a second. A little diagram here. Let's pretend that this represented the entire price of the CD. If I am saving 20%, so they're actually getting rid of 20% of the total cost, how much left are you paying for it? 80%. Good, you're paying 80% of the price. So the sale price would be 80% of $15, right? There, you can do that in one step. What's, how do I calculate percent of a number? Let's do the shortcut, the fast way. 80% of means? Multiply. So what's 80%? So it's 0 0.8 times 15. 0 0.8 times 15 is $12 and that's what we got before but before we found the discount and then we subtracted it to get the sale price but if I just asked you the sale price well think about how much left do you, how much do you have left to pay well if you're saving 20% that's getting taken out you have 80% left to pay so this is the sale price